conducting. It's just a, a very meaningful career, very, very meaningful work for me. Hi, welcome to Sound Bites from Home, a visual podcast featuring students, faculty, and staff from the Department of Performing Arts at American University. I'm your host, Andrew Brown, and today's guest is Matthew Brown, the director of the AU Orchestra and the AU Symphonic Band. wanted to be a conductor? I took a semester off. I went out to California. While I was there, I started taking some classes at a community college and I was taking some composition lessons. And the teacher of that said, why don't you go and observe the local community orchestra? Observe a couple of rehearsals. And at the second or third time I was observing the rehearsal, the conductor sort of walked up and said, Matt, you want to try conducting? I was like, sure, I'll give it a shot. You know, I got up there. I was completely clueless, of course, but I just enjoyed the, the process, the experience saw that through and he let me conduct that little piece on that concert and then i came back to college where i had been going to school in texas and kind of from there decided yeah i think i might you know want to give this a shot What goes into the whole process of leading to conduct an orchestra? What do you need to know? What are you doing? <clears throat> in order to actually do the, the task of conducting, you have to have the ability to conceive in your mind how music should sound. And in combination that with being able to stand in front of 75 people holding their instruments and each of them with a little bit different conception themselves of how the music should sound and then be able to respond to the sound that they are making and then and then understand how to manipulate that sound either in terms of your gestures or if the gestures aren't working then stopping in rehearsal and saying something so the musicians take most of the credit is what the way that i see it and then i'm just there to to kind of guide and help bring t into a, a a cohesive unified form the way that i feel the composer most intended it to be Understand that you also like do a lot of um, conducting kind of mentorship outside of American University. I direct a music festival in Kiev, Ukraine. This is called the International Conductors Festival of Kiev, and basically it's kind of like postgraduate school level or sometimes in graduate school level conductors come and and uh, get a chance to just gain that kind of real world experience of conducting orchestras because a lot of times to get a job you have to have experience, experience but to get experience you have to have a job. So that so. So what we wanted to do was real rehearsals, real performances, and then in the wings, after rehearsals, at dinner, and so forth, we, I mentor the, the conductors, just talking to them about their physicality or their, the, what they were, how they were running the rehearsal. Or It's a lot of really helpful, uh, I think, mentorship for them as they kind of are getting into things and giving conductors that experience. And it's great for me because, of course, I conduct while I'm there and have a lot of great friends in that orchestra and have met a lot of cool people along the way, several of whom have gone on, in fact, to have pretty big careers in, in conducting. So it's been pretty gratifying. Um...
how have you experienced putting things together in a virtual environment? So it's a great question. So obviously it's totally different because ensembles, the word ensemble literally means together. It, we're meant to come together and play music together, but, and it's not possible on Zoom. A lot of people think, oh, you can go on Zoom and play music, but no, the Zoom has the, the very, very short delay in the sound, which it doesn't prevent conversation like we're having, but it does prevent people from being able to play music together in, in, in synchronicity. So what we've been doing uh, all of last fall and now this this spring is I'll create uh, what I call starter tracks or play along tracks. And then I take that and I send that to the the all the musicians in the ensemble. And then they just record their tracks at home on their own time, one at a time, just listening to this common uh, track. I say at the beginning, they clap after four, one, two, three, four, and then everybody claps. And it's that it's the visual of that clap that I then I load all the parts into a logic, which is the audio platform, and I push play, boom, it sounds like the symphonic band or it sounds like the orchestra. Well, I think that's a great way to end this conversation. Uh, thank you so much for like, taking the time to do this. Really do appreciate it. My pleasure, Andrew. Thanks a lot for having me.